Welcome to Sri Ram Medical College. Today we will explore radiology and geriatrics, meeting the unique needs of older patients. If you have an elderly family member, you know that they probably don't ask for help very often. Elderly people generally want to maintain their sense of autonomy by doing things like grocery shopping and driving oneself. On the other hand, your loved one will require your assistance at some point. For patients over the age of 65, interventional radiology is increasingly providing safer, less intrusive choices. Comorbidities are extremely prevalent among the elderly, making surgical therapies fraught with high morbidity and mortality rates. Because to percutaneous access and less need for general anesthesia, interventional radiology can typically reduce these risks. Unfortunately, due to both the aging of the population and the dearth of geriatricians, most older patients will be relied upon their regular doctors for the bulk of their medical needs. Although though a detailed history and physical examination can still diagnose difficult aged patients, specialized imaging techniques are becoming more important. The effects of illness, trauma, and injury on elderly people vary from those of younger ones. This results in dissimilar procedures for making diagnoses, associated dangers, and treatment goals. Knowing the benefits and hazards of various forms of diagnostic radiology is crucial if you or a loved one are seniors. Changes in vision, hearing, reaction time, and the ability to quickly assimilate and use new information are only some of the neurologic and sensory impairments commonly seen in the elderly. The capacity to comprehend and carry out imaging examination instructions may be compromised by these elements. Staff and technologists should be mindful of these concerns and show patients by speaking clearly and slowly and making sustained eye contact. Comorbidities, including diabetes, chronic renal disease, and heart disease, are more common among the elderly. Sometimes, the injection of contrast dye, which is usually necessary for good imaging quality, becomes risky because of these extra health concerns. Generally speaking, elderly people's healthcare requirements are more complicated because they typically have many, interrelated medical issues. An older patient's visit to a healthcare facility may involve several different imaging exams, as well as other types of testing and or appointments in departments other than radiology. Caring for an elderly patient requires a unique approach and more time than caring for a younger patient. It is common practice to transfer elderly patients to the radiology department, where they may require monitoring while they wait. It takes more time to position a patient, and they usually need help doing so. More than one person is typically required to properly arrange a patient who is confined to a bed. The prevalence of older persons with active lifestyles has increased due to improvements in the treatment of chronic conditions, making them more susceptible to injury. A good imaging exam for an elderly patient should be quick and require little patient movement. For broken bones, an X-ray could be the best initial diagnostic tool. This diagnostic device utilizes radiation to detect skeletal and dental anomalies such as fractures, injuries, and defects. It is possible that an X-ray will be the initial diagnostic tool utilized on a patient who has fallen. The use of various types of radiography may be necessary when trying to detect more modest fractures or examine softer interior tissue. As people get older, their bones and joints become more brittle, making them more susceptible to injuries like fractures from simple slips and falls. X-rays will assist us assess the severity of your family member's injuries. There are circumstances in which choosing to have an imaging study could be harmful to the patient. Once a senior citizen complains of chest pain, 
For instance, they are in a precarious position. In order to avoid delaying potentially life-saving treatment, it is advisable to skip the medical imaging study and go straight to the cath lab. MRI is a diagnostic tool that can produce high-resolution pictures of almost any organ or tissue in the human body. It's a non-invasive alternative to invasive surgery that can help doctor diagnose an injury or sickness, especially in senior patients who may be more at risk of complications and longer recovery times. Medical Imaging with Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI, is the gold standard for examining the brain and spinal cord, and is especially useful after any kind of fall or head trauma. It may also be used by your doctor to keep an eye on how you're doing after a stroke. Bone density testing is used to diagnose osteoporosis before any fractures have occurred. Bone density in the hip, spine, and bigger bones can be evaluated using this method since it uses low dose, dual energy X ray absorptiometry, DEXA. You and your doctor can use the data to develop a strategy to fortify and safeguard this crucial organ. There are situations where CT scans can reveal even more information than MRI. A CT scanner makes an arc around a patient's body and fires off a sequence of X-rays that penetrate the body at different angles. Afterwards, the photos are combined into a three-dimensional cross-section on a computer, revealing hundreds of distinct densities. Care for the elderly necessitates thoughtfulness on the part of caretakers in terms of ethics. When making a diagnosis, doctors must always examine whether or not the findings from imaging could change care. Even when a precise diagnosis, such as staging in a malignant condition, may help plan treatment, individuals may refuse imaging and insist on palliation only near the end of their life. CT scans can diagnose liver, lung, and pancreatic cancers, pneumonia, organ rupture, and brain hemorrhaging. They are also superior at diagnosing problems with the heart, lungs, and other chest structures. Similarly to how each patient has specific requirements and worries, each imaging technique is one of a kind. If you want the best care and imaging results, your doctor or surgeon must know about your medical history, medications, and any physical, mental, or emotional conditions that may affect your treatment. B. Walking Remit Eligibility Criteria 12th class from any recognized board Students, arts, commerce, science, of any age can apply. A minimum score of 50% in the 12th class. Join Sri Ram Medical College's Bachelor of Vocation in Radiology and Medical Imaging Technology and take the first step toward a successful career in radiology technologist. We're here to assist you in launching your career as a radiology technologist. Call us at 9968193009 for more information about our program or to submit an application right away. Sri Ram Medical College, nurturing next generation of healthcare leaders, and offers all paramedical courses at competitive fee and helps in 100% placement assistance. Admission open. For more information, please visit our website sriramcollege.com and like, share, subscribe, our YouTube channel Sriram Medical College. Good luck, goodbye.